know, it's really been a strange season with a lot of flows. Obviously, you weren't part of the team early on because you were coming back from injury. And then, you know, the COVID shutdown with you guys, it kind of was hard to get into a rhythm. But now that things seem to be maybe more in a rhythm, would you do you think the team maybe is playing some of its best basketball here towards the end of the season? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, early on, guys, you know, we got a lot of new guys on the team. So it was, I think it was more of a chemistry issue than anything, you know. A lot of guys coming from different places out of high school, different schools, and have a uh, different principles set in their heads. So, I mean, once we got that got got that going, I think we started playing really well, and that's why we look like this at the end of the season. Another matchup with ECU, they were particularly strong in the second half last week. What did they change up uh, and show you in the second half that concerns you maybe going into this next game? Um, I, I don't think they changed, changed anything, honestly, as far as how they play. I think they just play with – a little more energy than they did in the first half. And we played with less energy than we did in the first half. But then uh, uh, aside from that, they're a really good second half team. Uh, as far as I've been watching, they come back on a lot of teams in the second half, whether they win or lose the games. Uh, so we just have to be aware of that and uh, make sure we play a whole 40 minutes instead of 20 or 36. Is it an advantage that you get to play ECU in the first round? You just obviously face them in a pretty close game. How much of an advantage is that? Um, I think it's just an advantage in the standpoint that we just played them. So, um, you know, it's not a lot you have to go over uh, it's for, because guys kind of remember uh, who, who we just played, the things they did, the personnel and stuff like that. So um, that it's going to be really fun and it's going to be an advantage in that aspect. There's just kind of talk about the opportunity that lies ahead in Fort Worth. You have the opportunity to, you know, get an at large or get a, the automatic berth to the NCAA tournament. I know it's going to be difficult four games in four days, but how excited are you for this chance to potentially go to the big dance? Oh, very excited. You know, um, it's, it's just a cha another challenge, another another uh, opportunity to show the type of team we are. And uh, another, you know, uh, uh, like I said, just more opportunities to get into the tournament. So uh, it's going it's really exciting and really, really exciting to uh, be able to have the opportunity. Darius, you talked a little bit about, you know, building that chemistry throughout the, throughout the season. Was there a moment over the last, you know, five or six games where things just kind of started clicking for you guys, a moment that you can identify? Uh, I think we saw it in practice first before anything. You know, um, in practice uh, behind the scenes is behind the scene things that a lot of people don't see. Uh, you wonder why guys do certain things, take certain shots or uh, make certain moves it's because, you know, what we see in practice. So. Uh, we we kind of saw the chemistry starting to get better in practice. Guys starting to play better and do uh, make better plays with each other. So we we knew that was coming towards the end of the season. I feel like Isaiah wins freshman of of the week once again for the conference. What have you seen from him from the beginning of the season to now, where he's made the most improvements? And have you been impressed with him because what he's done, considering he's just a freshman? Um, first of all. That's a shout out to Isaiah. You know, that's congratulations for him. I mean, but that's well deserved. You know, just, Isaiah puts in a lot of work. I've seen it since he first got here. So I'm not really surprised at anything that he's doing just because, like I said, I see him in practice. I see him every day. Uh, we played we play against each other every single day since the summer. So I'm not surprised at anything. I'm just glad that he's able to, you know, show it to the world. With all the ups and downs this season, how have you grown in response to the challenges? Um, you know, it's, it's been really tough, but I mean, it just shows you that, uh, you know, perseverance is really key. Um, it's a lot of teams that, you know, when they come back from COVID aren't playing really well. Uh, a lot of teams that get hit by COVID in the worst moments. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs during the season and perseverance and determination is just, I think the key words for this, for this whole entire season, just coming back with the same mindset of I'm going to go hard. I'm going to do the things I have to do to win, win basketball games.